Hey guys, welcome back. So today we will be integrating this integral right here, the integral of sine 2x over sine 4x with respect to x. And this was actually sent in by the same guy who I did the last video request for. So congrats for getting all of your uh, questions answered. So anyway, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing that I noticed is that we have a sine 2x right here in the numerator. And the thing about sine 2x is there's actually a trig identity that involves this. And that is sine 2x is equal to 2 cosine x times sine x. And this is just a trick identity that we will all grow to love and appreciate. And chances are that we will probably end up using this. Uh, we also notice that in the denominator here, we have a sine 4x. And this 4x is a multiple of 2x. So that just kind of builds the case that we are going to be using sine 2x to simplify things. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a u substitution. I'm gonna let u equal 2x, therefore du dx is equal to two, and therefore dx is equal to du over two. So I'm gonna go ahead and substitute this information into our integral and get the following. So I get the integral of sine of u over sine 2u du, and then I have this one half factor. I'm gonna write that on the outside. And now I'm gonna apply this trig identity right here. So I can rewrite this as one half times the integral of sine u over two sine u times cosine u du. And we see that some nice things happen. This sine u cancels with this sine u. Uh, we can move this one half factor out to the outside. And I'm gonna rewrite this as one fourth times the integral of one over cosine u du. So things look a lot simpler now. And in fact, I could rewrite this again as one fourth the integral of secant u du. So if we can evaluate this, then we are good. Now, sometimes we can just take this secant u and look up a trig integral identity and evaluate it like that, but I'm actually gonna work through it to show you guys how to actually integrate this. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply through by one. And what I mean by that is I'm going to multiply uh, the fraction of secant u plus tangent u all over secant u plus tangent u. So this is actually equal to one, so my integral is not changing. And the reason why I picked secant u plus tangent u is because it'll actually come out nicely in the derivative of secant u. So let me go ahead and show you guys how that happens, and we will see how using this choice right here makes everything come out nicely. But first we are going to go in another layer deep into u substitution, except for this time it's not going to be u substitution because we are already using u. Instead, we are going to be using t. Uh, so I guess we can call it t substitution. So let's let t equal secant u plus tangent u. And now let's find an expression for dt du because we need that in order to integrate with respect to t now. So this is just gonna be d du of secant u plus d du of tangent u. Uh, so let's go ahead and evaluate both of these parts separately. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna consider is this guy right here. So d du of secant u. Uh, this is really just d du of one over cosine u, which I'm gonna rewrite further as cosine u to the negative one power. And so now that we have it written like this, we can just use the power rule. So we multiply by negative one, we drop the power, and then we multiply by the derivative of the inside by applying the chain rule. So we get a negative sine u. So this actually comes out to be sine u over cosine squared u, or in other words, secant u times tangent u. Okay, so now let's deal with this guy right here, d du of tan u. Um, so I'm gonna rewrite this as d du of sine u over cosine u, because that's exactly what tangent u really is. So this is equal to sine u times the derivative of one over cosine u, which we actually just evaluated right here. So sine u times, I'm just gonna use this guy right here. So that becomes a sine squared u over cosine squared u. And then we have plus the one over cosine u times the derivative of sine u, 
which is just cosine u. So these cancel out to 1, and what we are left with is 1 plus sine squared u over cosine squared u. And we could rewrite this as 1 plus 1 minus cosine squared u over cosine squared u, which is equal to 1 plus 1 over cosine squared u. I'm breaking this up over the denominator. And then minus cosine squared u over cosine squared u is, is minus 1. So this comes out to be 1 over cosine squared u, or secant squared u. So I have these two pieces right here, and that lets me evaluate dt du. So I'm going to record it right up here and write it as secant u tangent u plus secant squared u. So I have, I'm just going to rewrite some information. So I have t is equal to secant u plus tangent u. And now I have dt du is equal to secant u, which I'm factoring out now, which is tangent u plus secant u. So dt is going to be equal to secant u times tangent u plus secant u times du. And if we look back up at our integral, we have a secant u times a secant u plus tangent u times a du, which is our dt. And then we also have a secant u plus tangent u, which is our t. So this integral actually becomes the 1 fourth times the integral of 1 over t dt which we know is 1 fourth the natural log of t plus our constant of integration. And now we just need to substitute back. So when we substitute back in for t, we get 1 fourth the natural log of secant u plus tangent u plus c. And now don't forget that we made this substitution up here, u is equal to 2x. So let's substitute back in for u. So 1 fourth the natural log of secant 2x plus tangent 2x plus c. And this is our final answer. Now I know someone in the comments is probably going to go to Wolfram Alpha and check my work, uh, type in this integral and get a completely different answer. Well, I already checked Wolfram Alpha and they got a different argument right here. Uh, it had cosines and sines in it, but I went ahead and went to MATLAB. I programmed up the argument to make sure that they were equivalent and they are in fact equivalent so this answer that I have written right here is the answer so thanks for watching and thanks for sending requests if you guys have any more requests feel free to post it in a comment send me a message whatever and anyway thanks for watching bye